guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ellie. If you are new, if you are new, then thank you so much for clicking on today's video. You are greatly welcomed. Um, obviously, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. And yeah, so yeah, today I am doing my full, well, not my full face makeup, my everyday makeup look. So when I say everyday, it's kind of what I wear when I'm going out for lunch, if I'm going to see someone if I'm going shopping if I wanted to feel like glamorous and bougie then I put makeup on if not I don't put any on it's kind of like nothing or this so yeah no this is like not night out which is everyday glam um so yeah no if you want to see how I create this look my curls and my makeup then let's get into the video <laughs> I actually can't believe I've come on my YouTube looking like this again. Hi guys. So obviously today I'm doing my um, everyday makeup routine. A few of you have asked to see this because you think I'm actually okay at makeup, which I am so grateful for. Like I don't think I'm anything special, but hey ho, we'll, we'll do it because I actually have quite enjoyed doing my makeup the last six months or so. I feel like I've got some really good products. I know my skin down to the ground and I've just picked up a few tips, I guess. So let's, let's get into it. First of all, I, um, this is just like my everyday. So lately I think lockdown's really kind of made me feel comfortable in my own skin. Like I'll, I'll go out like this now, like I never would before. I'd always put on a very like small base of makeup on, but now I don't care. You guys seem like this, like, I'm just exposing myself to like, the whole of the world, basically, looking like my natural self, so I don't care anymore. I basically put my white body on my fake tan video on YouTube, so there's actually nothing to hide now. So, there is no point. So, I only really put makeup on now if I'm going to work, if I am going to see a friend for lunch, if I'm going out, if I'm filming. Basically, when I want to wear makeup now, so it's like something that I don't rely on, it's when I want to wear it. So, first of all, I don't prime, I don't fiddle around with anything really I've just washed my face um, fresh and then I use my Charlotte Tilbury magic powder powder cream and this cream it's a little bit spenny I'm not gonna lie guys it's quite expensive but it is worth every single penny like my skin the like difference in my skin I found since using this, I got it for Christmas off my mum um, and then I ran out of it about two weeks ago, I had to go a week without it which I got it on Friday and it's now Monday, Tuesday and I broke out, so this side of my face here like and a little bit here is broken out and I have not broken out since using this, I stopped and I broke out so I'm literally down to this so it is just amazing. It's got SPF 15. It's really good. So you can just put it on your face if you don't wear makeup. Like if I'm having a no makeup day, I'll put it on my face anyway. Um, they come in three sizes. I got the big one. I treat myself to the big one. So this is this is it. It is 50 mils and it's like a really thick white cream, almost like pseudo creme if you like. So I just I'm not like I put like that much on my finger and then I just go like that. I put my little mirror there. Yeah, and then I just rub it in all over down my neck. So now it's done. So I've prepped my face with moisturizer. Um, not gonna lie, I only really bother with primer if I'm, if I'm like if it's an occasion makeup. But obviously it's not today. It's just a normal day. So second of all, I just put some um, lip lips. Moisturizer, lip salve, lip salve, is that what it's called? I don't even know. Um, I just use the EOS one in strawberries and cream and I just put that all over my lips. Now I'm ready to paint my face. So, first of all, so I've got my big, oh God, I really should have cleaned my brushes before I did this like that. It's pretty vile, isn't it? But. Keep it real, keep it real. So I use, I absolutely live for this foundation. I can't believe it took me so long to find it. And I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It, again, it's a little bit expensive, guys. Like, I'm sorry, it's it's not cheap having life makeup, I swear to God. But um, I have noticed myself, even Greg, 
even Greg has noticed a difference with my makeup wearing this. He was like, bloody hell out, you look airbrushed. Like, I know, I know, I know, honey. Like, it's just, it's this little bottle. And um, I find I just get on really well with it. I have it in the shade 5.75. I'm actually running quite low now. I've had it, it's lasted me six months though, so I can't moan. I just put it straight directly onto my brush and I just paint on my face, basically. And it's like, I'd say medium coverage. Like, it's not ultra thick, but you only need, like, one coat of it, if you like. Oh. So I just buff that all in. I'm using an iconic brush. It's part of a brush set. I don't know what brush it is. It's just a foundation brush. I'm really not into my brushes that much. I just buy the cheapest ones. So, once that's all done, I look a lot more alive. My face actually matches my body. Hooray. So, then next of all, again, I think I said this in my last video, um, I meant to get the, the concealer, but I actually just use a foundation. It's the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation from um, Revolution. And honestly, like it works fine as a concealer. So I just pop a little bit under my eyes, a bit on my forehead, down my nose, on my chin, and then any like little bit of like, breakout I've got. I just put it over. And obviously, it's a bit of a lighter shade than my foundation. Um, basically, Jude got me this, and um, she, I meant she meant to get the concealer, but she actually got the foundation. I'm not actually that mad because it does work. It doesn't crease at all, so I can't really moan, really. And then I just blend that all in with my sponge, sponge. Right, guys, we have a little chat about my life at the moment i thought we could have a little chat whilst we're doing this obviously we are still in i don't know if you can call it lockdown anymore because obviously we're allowed to like go out and see people but just only outside and only two meters apart but i guess it's like not as strict anymore um i see a few of my friends and it's been so nice i think it's been so nice as well because a few of them haven't got like um siblings so it's like nice for them to see me but yeah um i put a little thing on my story saying going to film a get ready with me um what do you want to chat about uh someone i remember asked about barley because obviously if you didn't know me and greg are meant to be going to barley for my 21st birthday holiday this year um don't know what's gonna happen not gonna lie um part i'm just not I'm just genuinely, now it's got to the point now where I'm like, I just don't know what to think anymore because it's the beginning of June and we are going down, but obviously there's a lot going on in the world at the moment and um, they are worried there's going to be a second spike and I just don't want a second spike. Like I want to be able to go to see my friends and kind of go out and enjoy my birthday. My birthday's like, at the end of July and then we're meant to be going to Bali about a month after, a month and a half after in September. So I doubt, I don't know if it's gonna happen now. I'm kind of just keeping my, I'm not keeping my hopes up, not gonna lie guys. Um, obviously I am really hoping we are gonna go and everyone, it's really mixed opinions because some people are like, oh no, definitely not. You won't be allowed to go. And then some people are like, oh yeah, Elle, like, by, by September this is going to be over, like, we'll be fine. And I'm like, oh, I'm um, just setting all that with um, the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which again, is my rival dye and just sets it all really lovely. Um, I can't believe it took me, like, years to find this product, but now I have, I will never, ever let her go. But yeah, no, some people are like, oh no, Elle, I've got something in my eye. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to believe, I don't know what to, like, think. I think I'm just going to lie, I'm going to think, no, we're not going. And then if we do get, I'll be like, oh my god, we're going to Bali. Um, which is, like, exciting. So, that is all now set. And can you see, like, how, like, just perfect that looks? Like, the complexion it gives. Like, the, the products just go really well together. And I literally love them so much. Here we go. So, what are you going to do after lockdown? So, before I get into this, I'm just going to do my contour. So I just use a Hoola, Benefit Hoola bronzer, um, 
in just the normal the normal shade like the shade they've had forever bronze i think yeah not the light and not the dark one just the medium one um so what am i gonna do after lockdown i am gonna go for well i don't know because i want to obviously go to all like the pubs and stuff but then i don't want to risk like making it bad again but like new zealand god i've got really like itch on my nose new zealand have like got rid of all their pages because they've got no cases in new zealand anymore and i was like oh my god that's literally amazing well done new zealand we are not the same um but i'll probably just go and see my friends to be fair like um a few of my friends have had a really hard time through the lockdown um a few in particular um i just want to go and hug 24 7. um but yeah no that's kind of like what i want to do is just go and hug everyone and love everyone and just not take another year for like granted like thinking oh yeah like i think none of us ever thought it was ever gonna happen so i was one of the people who would like be like if i didn't really want to go out i'd be like mm. no guys i'm just gonna not go out um and now I'm literally never ever gonna do that again. I'm just gonna contour my nose now, by the way, guys. Um, this is completely optional. But I just prefer contouring my nose. So then I just literally, cause I don't want a really harsh contour, I just like um, pat the contour each side of my sponge just to like soften it. So what else did you guys say? Let's have a look. What are your goals for the rest of the year in 2020 going the way it has? Um, my goal is to get to the end. That is the first one. I want all my family and friends to be healthy at the end of the year. My personal goals is to carry on with my fitness journey. Um, because I feel like lockdown's really allowed me to kind of excel in that. Oh, guys, I just want to give you a little um, tip. So my dip brow here is like non-existent. If you get some setting powder, I've got my Morphe one, and spray some in there, mix it up it like wets the dip brow so you can continue using it for a little bit longer guys so if um you do do that just get a uh, makeup pad and just take the wetness of your brush and then just go in again and then i just do my brows i'm actually gonna go off camera and do this just because i literally look like a bloody i don't know what i look like when i do this but not great so i'll catch you in a minute okay brows are done brows are on do you know what i need i need ellie trip to come do my eyebrows because her eyebrows are beautiful she literally just really slays the eyebrow game every time ellie if you're watching this you need to come up here get your ass up here from cornwall and come and do my makeup for me because i need i need it in my life eat her brows but yeah no i'm literally just awful at my brows i just paint them on like oh need the queen herself but yeah if you guys don't know who ellie is go and subscribe to her youtube channel because she's absolutely amazing she's an absolute queen and i just love her so much so yeah um anyway fine so now i've done my bronzer brows and now we're going to do my um blush so i just go in with the nars um blush which oh god it's a dreamy color look at this color girls and boys whoa it's in the color orgasm what color um and i just whack out my brush and just go over my cheekbone just warm that face up a little bit guys oh look it's got like a little like shimmer to it god beautiful 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 right so now that is done i'm gonna go in and do my eyelids i'm gonna zoom you in first actually whoa look at that nice up close and personal yay so um at the moment not gonna lie i've really been loving my naked three palette and charlotte tilbury palette in the shade pillow talk um i'm just really loving a nudie pink at the moment this this palette is gorgeous for that and so is this one it's just a really nice nudie pink color love 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 so what i do is i just grab god if you could, like i don't have any like brush brushes i actually need some i need some eye brushes so 
we'll see. So what I do, depending on what mood I'm in, what mood I'm in, am I in nudie colour? Free, everyone. My camera just cut out. It does that. It cuts out after like 20 minutes of filming. Fun and games, out of breath now. As I said, going in with the shade um, Limit, which is this nudie pink here. Oh, I just paint that all over my lid. So I've put that shade all over and blended it out nice and high. Then I'm going to go to my Charlotte Tilsbury little palette and use, I don't know what shade, but the top. The one that I've used basically all of. <laughs> the top right hand shade. And I'm just going to pop that lower down. It's like a like slightly more nudie pink shade. And then I'm just going to get my, um, this is a naked palette brush. And get the little one on the end. And just get the sparkly pink shade, which is down here. It's actually a really gorgeous shade. Um, I'm going to put in, in the corner of my eyelid. So... Before I do my eye makeup, so my eyeliner, my makeup, I'm going to talk to you about my highlight. This little product here is amazing. It is the Charlotte Tilsbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. I've had this for about two years now. Love it. I stopped using it. Um, and then I, I found it in my drawer. I was like, why the hell do I stop using that? And it's just gorgeous. So look, I just it's a liquid highlight. So you just turn it to on. And you just press and you just look at that. Sorry. What? Sorry, I'm going to blind you with my highlight. And then you just um, dab it with your finger and blend it in. And I'm not even joking you, that is the shine, dewy shine we all want and love. Yeah, guys, do not hold back with this highlight. It's literally just the most gorgeous thing. Glowy. Love. So now I'm just going to do my eyeliner. I just use the NYX vinyl liquid liner in black. I just put a really thin little line over my eyelid. Like so. Done. And then I just quickly pop some of the Kiko makeup volume attraction mascara on and that is my makeup look finished pretty much i just literally oh, put this on all over so that is makeup all complete what a transformation right so now we're going to do my hair quickly i've had loads of you message me asking me how i put the curls in my hair very easy let's do it right Guys, please excuse my awful roots. Can any of the blonde, please? Oh, God. Look at it. I feel like I've had a really bad dip dye. God, horrific. Right. Yay. So I've put a nice top on, everyone. Lovely, lovely top. Um, so, what I do... I get my brush. Where's my brush? I got any brush. I normally use my Tangled Teaser brushes over there. I see be able to get it. Right, so once it's all brushed through, it'll be nice and soft. I recommend curling your hair maybe day after wash day, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so then what I do is I grab my Mark Hill um, curling wand. So this is the one which you can like turn. So obviously most are like this, but this was really good because instead of you like having your hand up here, it means you can just hold your hand, your hand like this and it's down. So, yeah, really good. So, I just let the little warm up. I had this, like, barrel on it. It's like a um, wide one, I guess. Um, and then what I do is I divide my hair into two sections. So, a lower and higher. About equal, trying to get it equal. Like so. Yeah, it's about equal. So, and then I just pin. Well, not pin. have my trusty... Primark clip and just clip that on top of my head like so Then I just get my lower layer and I divide it into two left and right And then I do this side first don't know why just personal preference and I split it into three So try and get into three so that's like a quarter third and I just get a third of it And wait for this to heat up is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. 
So then I just place it there and I just go round the barrel like so and I just hold it for 30 seconds and then I just let go and I hold the curl up whilst it cools a little bit. Um, I would pin it but I haven't got any pins and I really don't care that much. I want to do it nice and beachy so I let it go and so I have a little curl like that and then I just curl the other two so I just split those again into two and then I just wrap so then once I've done this once I've done like the bottom section on the left hand side I don't do anything to it I just spray it with um hairspray and I just use the bedhead masterpiece it's honestly like glue it's brilliant fabulous love and then I'm just gonna do the other side so guys finally on the last piece of hair one thing I've got to say is make sure you turn the hair outwards from the from the side of hair you're doing. So with this side I've gone that way. And yeah, I'm looking like a bit of a curly mess at the moment, but just, just hold out for me. I have really been loving curls at the moment, I literally love them so much. And then I'm gonna just quickly spray them. So whilst that's just drying just myself. I'm going to quickly do my lipstick. I forgot that earlier. So I use the Huda Beauty Lip Sticks in shade Interview. It's my, literally my favourite lip shade ever. Done. So now I've hopefully cooled down a bit. I literally just get my fingers and go like that through them. And it just really calms them down again with this side. And you can do this however much you want, depending on how much of a curl you would like. But that's how I like it, nice and curly. Um, I am thinking about having my extension put back in. It's very hit and miss, but I do kind of miss. I wouldn't go like long, I go like medium length, but I just miss having a slightly longer hair. Cause my hair's got quite long now. Um, through lockdown from not having a cut and I just really like it so um yeah that is the finished look I'm pretty happy with it so my curls will drop a little bit in the next like half an hour or so um and that is me completely ready that is the end of today's video guys I hope I have given you a few tips and tricks for your makeup and some new products and you have enjoyed watching having a bit of a chat and i um will see you all in my next video if you did enjoy today's video then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you are new and comment down below just let me know what you thought and if there's any videos you want me to do soon so i will see you in my next video guys bye